hello 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 I am so happy to see you right now I came up with this idea about three years ago because I really like peace tea and I really like Arizona tea and part of my love for both of those besides the amazing taste and flavor is <laughs> the cans I didn't want to just throw it away or put it in the recycling bin so I thought how can I incorporate this into my home because I feel like it really fits with what I'm trying to do, which is kind of like a bohemian kind of look in my home. And I thought, hmm, I also really, really want plants. Why not make my own pot? What's great about this is that you can do whatever design that you want because the steps that I will be going through work for any aluminum can. I know there are certain people that are huge fanatics of certain brands and buy all the memorabilia, which one of those I really, really noticed is Coca-Cola. So if you have a Coke can, you can use that. And if you have a bar and you kind of want to pretty it up somehow or same thing, you just really start, like, really like a brand, you can get a beer can of whatever that is and use that too. Before I get into what we will be doing, it's very important that I go through some safety tips. Yeah, they're really, really important. We're not going to be using like a lot of heavy duty tools, but when you cut the aluminum, there will be sharp edges and I don't want you to cut your hands. I don't want you to accidentally stab yourself with one of the tools. It's just a lot that could go wrong. And throughout the video, I will tell you different ways that you can be particularly safe during that step when we get to that step. So don't worry, I will try to help you out as much as I can. Maybe you'll come up with some tips for other people. You can let them know in the comments below if there's something that you think that I missed that I should have let somebody know safety wise but I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want you to go through this process and then yell at me because you're like I cut my finger off well enough chit chat for me let's just get to the video because honestly besides the safety stuff because that's important that's the most important part of this video <laughs> bye for your materials, you will obviously need an aluminum can of some sort. As mentioned before, I chose Peace Tea for the design. A trusty pair of scissors, I'm sure there are better tools, but this is what I had lying around the house. A power drill. A regular screwdriver could work, but it would be very timely and difficult to work with. And don't forget your pliers. bit impatient, you can pour your drink into a glass to sip on while you work. And before you work with the can, be sure to wash it. This will get rid of any unwanted stickiness. Set your newly cleaned can in a drying rack, and it won't take very long to dry, but since one's already done, I'm going to use that one. Now we are on to the most difficult part of this whole process. Grab your scissors and begin to cut off the top of the can. Be sure to be very careful while doing this. If you tend to be clumsy, try and invest in some safety gloves. You can find them at a hardware store or in the hardware section of your local supermarket. Now that you have a hole in the top of the can, use your pliers to fold down the excess parts. I found it easier to work with when I broke them off into sections and don't have your hand too close to the top because your pliers might slip while doing this and it could seriously injure you. See how high up my hand is? Don't do that. Just like the pliers, keep your hand at a safe distance. Make sure the can is sitting on top of a flat surface and have a tight grip. Start out drilling slow and once you feel like you have a good grip, up the speed. Wear glasses of some sort, whether it's eyeglasses or sunglasses or safety glasses, while doing this in case a little piece of aluminum might fly up. It would be a pain to get one in your eye. Another way to recycle is to use an old plastic bottle to work as the bottom dish that collects excess water. Just cut it and shape it. Unfortunately for me though, none of these bottles worked because they were too small. Maybe a milk jug could work. Now comes the fun part. 
pick out some pretty flowers, high five yourself with your gardening gloves, and grab your trusty shovel. Do not do this in the house. I repeat, do not do this in the house. You will get down and dirty, which makes this fun, but a pain to clean, so doing it outdoors is best. I had pre-planted flowers, so all I had to do was move over the dirt and gently place the flowers in the can. Since it's a smaller opening, I had to shave down some of the dirt attached to the flowers. And be careful if you have to do that too, just so you don't accidentally rip off some roots or anything. And here's another recycling tip. Coffee grounds work as a wonderful fertilizer in case you don't have soil. Now you've created a custom flower pot. Doesn't it feel good to recycle? Don't forget to water your flowers once a day, especially when it's very hot out. Now go out and continue in keeping planet Earth beautiful. I love the outdoors, but I don't like mosquitoes. I really honestly do not know the point of them.